I can't do it. Barney, you're a man reaching for straws. That plan of yours has petered out. The gold is gone. Now, you got to start getting used to the idea. Well, I, I ain't arguing against it. Well, then sell the mine to me. Let me take what little copper I can find and call the money I'm going to give you a grub stake and you go prospecting again. You'll make another strike, Barney. Well, it took me near 30 years to make this one. I ain't got that much time left. Besides, I promised Horse Cartwright I'd wait and sell in the mine. I'm a man who does what he says whenever I can. Barney, I don't see why you have to. I said I'd meet Horse in front of the freight office at 11 o'clock, and I'm going to do it. He's got something he wants to show me. Papa. Miss Webb? Mr. Higgins? Papa, have you seen Horse today yet? We're waiting for him now. Well, when you do see him, don't you forget to invite him to supper tonight. You hear? I'll do that. Fine girl, but there's sure a lot of her. Got a heart set in getting married, even if she has to drag the groom to the altar by the year. Howdy, Barney. I'm here, Hoss. Take it. Cartwright, what's this nonsense I hear about you not wanting Barney to sell his mind to me? Well, it ain't that I don't want him to sell it to you. Just that, well, I, I didn't want him to be in no hurry to sell it to anybody. But it's no good to him. The gold is gone. I can make a small profit off of the copper if I get my equipment in there now. Time is money, and I can't afford to waste it. Well, I'm, I'm just asking for a couple of days. Now, what's wrong with that? Well, why wait at all? Look, Mr. Higgins, now, you made the survey, and I'm sure you're a fine mining engineer, but there might just be a vein in there you missed. <laughs> That's impossible. Well, all I'm asking is a chance to see what I can do. You're no engineer. What do you think you can do? Don't clear out the way! Great coming in! Just hang around a minute, and I think I might be able to show you. Which, uh, which one of these mines? They're all yours. You had an order coming from the Lodestar Manufacturing Company, didn't you? Yeah, but I was just figuring on one little box, maybe. Well, they're all yours. And you're lucky they didn't get stole before they got here. Anything as valuable as this is quite a temptation. Lodestar Manufacturing Gold Detector. Gold Detector? What is this? Just what it says it is. It's a gold detector. Barney, we're going to find that gold. Boys, you're now looking at the president of Horse Cartwright Gold Detecting Company, Incorporated. Stuff back to San Francisco? Yep. I'll get this one. Hey, Pa? Hmm? Take a look at this. Hmm. We're not expecting any freight in, are we? No. The way he's acting, there's something there he doesn't want us to know about. I suppose we should respect the man's right to his privacy. Yeah, we, we should.
Scherzer. Nice time to be going to San Francisco. You ought to have a lot of good weather. I Lodestar wish... Manufacturing yeah. Gold Detector? Ah, uh, he's done it again. Now, just a dead burn minute, Joseph. Now, you hold on. What is this? Well, it's a little sideline I thought I'd go into. I seen this thing advertised, and I thought I'd order me one of them. <laughs> of all the idiotic ideas... Now, wait a minute, that... wait a minute, just wait a minute. Now, you... You know, I'm a firm believer in free enterprise. Just as long as it doesn't interfere with you performing your chores. Oh, no, boy, it ain't. I guarantee it ain't. Now, you go in San Francisco and enjoy yourself, and Joe and me will take care of everything. Fine. We'll see you when you get back. Hey. <laughs> he really picks the dandies, doesn't he? <laughs> well, Joseph, just remember one thing. They laughed at Fulton and a steamboat. And I have the strangest feeling they're going to laugh at horse in this go to Gold detector. You, you know it won't work. Well, it won't hurt to give horse a chance. <laughs> I'll get it, Papa. Well, hello, Hall. Oh, I'm just about you? giving you up. Come right on in. Morning. Morning. Higgins? I was just telling Higgins I'm going to give that gold detector of yours a chance to show us what it can do. Sit yourself down, Hoss. Make yourself comfortable. You don't have to do all this just for me. I like doing things for you, Hoss. <laughs> yes, sir. Look, Marty. I sure hope you brought your appetite. <laughs> Supper will be ready before you know it. Yeah. yeah. Thanks a lot, Miss Casey. <laughs> Barney, you ain't already sold out to Higgins here, have you? Well, no, I've been waiting for you like I promised. I'm getting tired of waiting. Yeah, well, that's, uh, that's sort of what I want to talk to you about. I, I'm going to need two or three more days, four or five at the most. What's the delay? Well, you've seen the boxes that my gold detector came in, right? See, I thought it'd come already put together just in one box, and as it turns out, I gotta put it together, and, and there's a terrible amount of parts, and it's all kinda, kinda complicated, and... Gold detector, can't find that nonsense. You know it won't work. Of course it'll work. It's guaranteed. All right, what's the principle behind it? Well, I, I don't rightly know, you see. I ain't got to the... I ain't got to the fine print and the instructions yet. Well, now, they, they wouldn't sell a thing like that if it wouldn't work, would they? Oh, oh yeah, they, yeah, yeah, they would. They'd sell anything as long as they fool around to buy it. Now, wait a minute. Now, you really don't expect that device of yours to sense, that is, to, to detect gold through a distance of solid rock, do you? That's what it's supposed to do, and I think we ought to give it a chance, don't you, Barney? Well, I gave you my word you could. All right, I'll be generous. I'll give you a week to get your device together to make your search. A week, that ought to do it fine, Barney. Now, at the end of that week, I'll expect you to sign your mind over to me or forget the whole thing. All right. It's a deal. I'm going to hold you to that. Hey, horse, I, I sure hope that thing will work. Don't worry about it, Barney. Of course it'll work. It's guaranteed. Now, if you gentlemen will just come to the table. Mm -hmm. My, oh, my, Miss Casey. Well, just get up and sit down, honey. What a feed you done. Oh, oh this is nothing, Hoss. One of these days, I'll fix you a real meal. <laughs> yeah. Señor Higgins, <laughs> pasa y siéntese, amigos. <laughs> I would offer to share my supper with you, Señor Higgins, but there's hardly enough food for one. Nah, I'm not hungry. I hope you have a job for me. I have not worked since the mine shut down. That's the reason there's only enough food for one. I've got a job for you. The gold detector. Señor, if I were you, this would worry me. No, I don't have a word. I can't. <laughs> 
But only fools take chances when it's not necessary, yes, senor? <laughs> my gold detector. See, I planted that shotgun over there. <laughs> hey, what are you out of your mind? Suppose, suppose I would have walked in here. You could have you could have blown my brain out. Well, not unless you're 18 feet tall. No, Joseph, it worked perfect. You see, it shot the cans down, scared the thieves off, and woke us up. It's perfect. <laughs> hey, you're kind of a genius. Yeah, I know. Well, who'd want to steal this gold detector? Who'd want to steal very valuable stuff, Joseph? Coil hey. one. <laughs> Coil two. Hey, Oz. Green pipe, orange pipe. Oz? Blue pulley, yeah. You know anything about dynamite? A little bit, why? Well, I, I don't know anything about it. You better take care of this. Yeah. Joe on the road. He told me what happened last night. Yeah, that ain't all the troubles I'm having. I don't follow these instructions exactly like they say, and it just don't look right. Don't look anything like the picture. No, that's what I mean. After putting it all together just by these instructions, and then the picture here, don't look nothing alike. Brought you some cake. You come right over here and set yourself down. Rest your weary bones and look what I got for you. Sit down here. Well, Just look here. Right now, I have been working a little too hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> look it. Hot dog. Boy, that, that sure does look good. <laughs> yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Hey, it is good, dude. <laughs> I don't know why you do all this just for me. Mm -hmm. You think about it a little while, Hoss. Pretty soon it'll come to you. Well, <clears throat> what I meant to say was, <clears throat> in this case, I... Oh, <laughs> come in, come right in. I'm looking for a Mr. Hoss Cartwright. Yeah, well, that's me. How are you, sir? My name is Albert McNally. I'm field representative for the Lodestar Manufacturing Company. Hey, I'm real happy to meet you, Mr. McNally. This here is Miss Webb. Hello. The company sent me by to see if I could assist you in any way. You sure can. Right here's the gold detector. I ain't got it all put together yet, but there she is. So I see. Mm. 
Would you mind? No, you go right ahead, please. Here's the instructions right there. Uh -huh. Now, um, it seems that you've made a mistake at the beginning. So if you don't mind helping me, we'll just disassemble it and start over. Yes, sir. Anything you say. They're still at it, huh? I do what you tell me. I watch them all the time. Senor Higgins, they are at it day and night. And then Mr. McNulty, he stays at the Pandarosa. I peek into the barn any time of the night, and he's working all the time. Well, if you'd have done your job, there wouldn't be a machine. <laughs> this guy right there, very smart people. Is Hoss working on it, too? See, si. And the Senorita Webb, she brings food all the time, and she works. She holds things up, and she holds things down. It's a fake. Why, you can't build a machine to, to find gold? Esta cabeza de este hombre que no es posible. Señor Higgins, they are building it. But it won't work. I don't know much about these things, but I do know if it does work, our good cheese scoop. Don't cheat. You'll see it when Barney and Casey sees it. Now, get on over there. Well, why are you being so silly Joseph, about just... you doubting Thomas, get over there. Mm. Barney and Casey, you're about to witness something. Mr. McNulty here is going to have a few words to explain how the great gold detector works. Mr. McNulty. It has long been suspected that certain invisible rays emanate from gold, greatly affecting human beings, causing excitement, lust, avarice. The gold detector is a device which detects this reaction in human beings, thereby revealing the presence of gold. Now, Mr. Cartwright, if you'll be good enough to help me remove the covering. Barney, you and Casey are going to see something now. Mm -hmm. There it is. Never seen anything like it? I ain't never. I ain't never neither. I, I ain't never neither either. You gotta be kidding. Ain't you something? <laughs> we ain't kidding. <laughs> Mr. Cartwright, if you'll be good enough to take these in your hands. Huh? Not me. Yeah, you. You've been the one snickering at us all the time. We figure if it'll work with you, it'll work with anybody. Take them. Thumbulator on. Thumbulator on. Transferizer engaged. Transferizer engaged. Motivator functioning. Motivator functioning. You are now fully activated. Great, what do I do now? Just walk about as if seeking for gold. In the yard? This is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. There isn't any gold around here. What did you say, Joseph? I said the whole thing is ridiculous. There isn't any gold around here. It works. It works. Great. Ah, it works. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's either an overactive motivator or a fractured thumbulator. I'm afraid we've got a good deal of work ahead of us. Pass it to me now, please. Um... My Amazon helper, does this look like a transferizer part to you? 
You quit calling me an Amazon. All I ask is that you give careful attention to your work. All I ask is you to stop picking on me. Oh, boy. You do that again? He keeps calling me an Amazon. A simple statement of an obvious fact. Oh. I must say, Mr. McNulty, you got about as much diplomacy as a hot branding iron. Diplomacy is just a nicer word for deception, Hoss, and deception is not a part of the McNulty vocabulary. Which leads me to confess that I cannot deceive you any more than I could Casey, my Amazon helper. I misled you when I told you that I was a field representative for the Lodestar Manufacturing Company. You mean you ain't? Well, yes, but... I should have added that I'm also the president, vice president, treasurer, mechanic. In short, I am the Lodestar Manufacturing Company. I'll be doggone. I ain't never met a whole company before. I built this gold detector in the woodshed in the back of my landlady's boarding house. You mean you built this thing all by yourself? Why'd you sell it to me? Debts. Lack of money. I was forced to place that ad in the paper. You must have gotten hundreds of answers. I was just the lucky one, huh? As a matter of fact, you were the only one. Seems nobody else could believe that there could be such a thing as a gold detector. Well, just shows you how stupid people can be. There it is, and it works. Yeah, it works. But you know something? I don't really know why it works. Oh, you, you gotta be joshing. No, I, I can only uh, deduce that it works on rays emanating from gold, but I can't prove it. Well, I can't prove the sun's going to come up in the morning either, but I... Hot! 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 General storekeeper said you ordered these. We, we sort of offered to bring them out. Great. Day in the morning. Do it. Do it work? <laughs> Does it work? It works so well at Butch Stack. That's how good it works. Oh, well, you better be careful, or somebody don't steal it. No, I ain't gonna worry about that. See that shotgun I got planted over there? Well, those are the parts I need to fix it. Won't be more than an hour, Hoss, and I'll have this thing as good as new. You sell them right down there. Fellas, thank you a bunch for bringing them out. Now, we gotta get to work and get this thing completed. I know you boys will understand. If you just excuse us, we've got us a whole bunch of work to do. So we'll see you boys later. So long. See that? Oh, Satan's clutching and, and grabbing at me, but I'm fighting him off. Yeah, well, he's been a screaming and hollering my ears too, Cash, but I ain't gonna listen to him. We oh. fought temptation and we walked it. Sure makes a man feel good. Uh, well, he ain't gonna bother us no more. No, sir. Did you see how he dangled that gold decator right in front of our face? Just like the snake did the apple? But we see through his evil temptation. I'm proud of you, Cash. I'm really proud of you. Quit making that noise. I ain't making any noise. You're making a noise. Oh, you sound just like a turkey hollering. Oh. Ah, come on, let's get to Wait a minute. I thought we was going to fight Satan. Now, they ain't everybody always perfect. Now, go on, get in. Wait, wait, now. Watch, watch the string. I'll get the gun. Ain't it pretty? It sure is. I, I just sort of hate to steal anything so pretty from old horse. Well, old Satan didn't say nothing about borrowing. Yeah, still, it just don't seem right. Well, you want to get rich, don't you? I sure do. I'm getting tired as can be of being poor and having to work for a living. Well, all we're going to do is buy it for a while until we find enough gold, and then we're going to bring it back. Now, maybe if I was to have another nip, it, it, it'd sound better. Yeah? <laughs> Yeah, it sounds better now. Shh. Let's 
get to work. Glad to see you. Hey, Miss Casey, you're a little early today, ain't you? I got bad news for you. Papa's gonna sell the mine. Well, he's flat broke. Higgins is offering him something that amounts to a real good grub stake. Higgins changed his mind about waiting for a week. I mean, he says Papa's gotta make the deal today and forget the whole thing. Well, today's the day we're going to know. We've got the gold detector in shape to go. Is that right? That's right. Albert's got it all working just beautifully. So why don't we get it on after your Paul's mine right now, huh? Right. I'll take care of the shop. It's gone. Somebody's done took it. Let's see what we can find. <laughs> Do it? You gotta get the steam up first. Well, the fire ain't drawing. It ain't getting no coal oil. You get up there and take care of them wires up there, and I'll take care of my stuff back here and quit screaming and hollering at me. Dang it. you do a thing like this to me? Steal from me. We fought Temptation Horse. I declare for goodness we did. But old Satan ended up whipping us. We was going to bring it right back, Horse. As soon as we struck it rich. That's right. How bad do you think it's wrecked? Well, I don't know. Have to take it back to Mr. McNaught and let him work it. Come on. think it's gonna work? I hope so. I wish I had a couple of days to make the fine adjustments. Well, Barney hasn't sold out yet, but Higgins is pressing pretty hard. I'd hurry up if I were you. How much time we got? Take at least an hour. I'll give us a step. You stay working. Make all the adjustments. I'll go up here and see where the best place to look is. Hello, Barney. 
Reckon we're the best place to start hunting. Well, now, we measured it out, and it's, it's right between these two stakes. Dead ends over there, and leads to the main shaft right here, and she's 100 feet straight down. And you're going to stand on top of the ground, and you're going to feel down around there 100 feet with that thing? That's right. <laughs> I thought I heard everything. <laughs> you go ahead and laugh, Mr. Higgins. But you just remember, they laughed at Fulton, too. Well, now, who's he? Who is Fulton? <laughs> Who is Fulton? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you're ignorant, you don't even know who Fulton is, that blame plum won't explain it to you. Albert, you about got a race? I can't promise anything. It's been jarred around so much. Well, let's give her a whirl anyhow, huh? All right, folks, let's all back up now. We're going to watch the show. <laughs> Morning, don't you worry about nothing. It's going to work, guaranteed. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> all right, Albert, any time. Come later. On. Thumbulator, on. Transferizer, engage. Transferizer, engage. Motivator, functioning. Boss, you're now fully activated. You're clear, boys. Sure, thank you for it, but I, I guess the machine just just doesn't work, does it? Well, I don't reckon we know for sure, Barney. Maybe it's like Mr. Higgins says. Maybe they just ain't no gold here. Gentlemen, I want you all to gather around. I got something to show you. Hoss, you're right when you say there isn't any gold here, but uh, that silly machine of yours wouldn't have found it if there had been. Now, I'm going to put a stop to this once and for all. You, uh... You passed over this spot here a couple times, didn't you? That's right. I don't want anybody here to think that Vern Higgins isn't a fair man. Corrales, give me that show. I buried this poke here this morning. Take a good long look at it, my gullible friend. That's gold. That's pure gold. <laughs> Boy, this is this is ridiculous. Barney, what's wrong with you? Do I have to beat you over the head with the truth or something? Did I ask you to take my word for it? Didn't I prove that that fool contraption can't find gold? You didn't do no such a dead burn thing. All you proved was it is broke. Now, if it didn't detect the gold you put right there under it, it proves one thing to me, and that was it's out of whack, and that's all. Oh. Will you talk to your brother? I, I think he's got a point. Oh, you won't give up even when you know you're licked. Why? Because it's the only hope I got left. When a man's down to his last hope, he can't afford to be choosy. Well, I'm down to my last bit of patience. 
delay his money. Look, Mr. Higgins, all we're asking is just one more chance to try our gold detector, that's all. But you said yourself the boob thing was on the fritz. Yeah, but Dad, burn it, it can be fixed. Yeah. Yeah, so, so there's still a chance. And the least you can do is give us one more week like you promised. That's right. I've given you more than enough time already. And if that mine isn't signed over to me by noon tomorrow, the whole deal is off. And that's that. I can't stall him any longer, horse. I'm sorry. Yeah. We got a problem, Barney, but at least we got until noon tomorrow. Casey and Albert are where they're working on that gold detector right now. If they can find the trouble and get it fixed, we still just might make it. You'll go to jail for this. You bet you will. <laughs> But why? You're alive. What have I done to go to jail for? You're holding me against my will. Senor, you are my guest. <laughs> Bunk, you abducted us. You say it your way, senorita? And I say it mine. <laughs> I demand that you release me. My work on the gold detector is not finished. You will be my guest until tomorrow afternoon, and then I will let you go. <laughs> Albert? Casey? Huh. It's funny. Bring where they could have got off to. I don't know. Albert was pretty broken up about this thing not working this afternoon. Maybe, maybe he just quit on it. No, not a chance. He maybe don't look like much, but that McNulty is quite a man. Well, if he's not the kind of quit, then... Maybe somebody grabbed him. Hey, yeah. Come on, let's go find him. Yeah, now hold on. Let's think for a minute. You got till noon tomorrow afternoon to get that gold detecting machine working. I'm not going to be able to track anybody in the dark. Is there any chance you think you can get this thing going? I don't know, little brother. I got the dog going, sure, give it a try. Well, look, I'll help you work on it tonight, and then I'll see if I can find Albert and Casey in the morning. What? Well, sounds all right, but. No buts about it. That's the only chance we got. Let's get with him. You work hard on party machine, Mr. Horse. You know eat, you get tired. Yeah, I ain't got time to eat, Hops, eh? Funny machine look like he's there already. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's working all right. The only thing is, I got two parts left over. Four-stage stabulator and this tri-thermostatic hemiscator. You seen little Joe yet? Oh, no, he not come back yet. Oh, damn, burn it. Well, I'm going to get it done. It looks like I'm going to have to do it by myself. Give me a hand, will you? Hmm. Say, I'm thirsty. You can't keep us tied up here without food or drink. That's right. It's not healthy, either. No, I... Well, I must say, Miss Webb, I find you very staunch. Thank you. 
<laughs> Go ahead and tire, senora. You save me the trouble. <laughs> you can have the water you want. And then I tie you up again this time much more tightly. <laughs> Where'd you go? I'd, uh, I'd tell you, but you wouldn't, you wouldn't believe it. Well, uh, you can go back in now if you want. They don't want to fight anymore. You two better get on over the gold mine. Horses there with a gold detector. There's not much time left. We'll see these two get into town into a cell. You think you can handle it alone? I'll, uh, I'll do my best. Albert, you were wonderful. Oh, it was nothing. Just a simple matter of leverage. <clears throat> oh, go on. Hurry up. You're running out of time. Barney Little Jules out after him, he'll find him. Without your better being here, we might as well call this nonsense off. No, no. We got at least half an hour before noon, yeah. Do you think you'll do any good without McNulty? Well, I know we gotta try. Come on, Barney, here. You take these things, just walk around with them. I'll run the levers and the gauges and go. machine ain't going to work. We might just as well give it up. Well, you're ready to sell, not ready to buy. Have you got the deed? Yes, I have. Right in my pocket. Here, here. Hold these things. I'll give it. So you're finally going to believe when I say there's no gold in this mine. <laughs> Well, uh, now let's 
Reggie. Have a good trip now. Oh, we will, we will. It's been a pleasure. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Albert, it's, it's been, been fun. Thank you. Thank you. Mrs. McNulty? Thank you. Run right away now. So <laughs> long, Albert. Bye. <laughs> My, kind of nice them two getting married. Eh? It's kind of nice spending your honeymoon in all the capitals of Europe. Yes. Well, yes me nice. making it possible by making them rich find that gold farm. That wasn't no little chore neither. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking about that, that machine of yours. I'm not so sure that that gold detector found that gold, but uh, I do know one thing. It sure found out that Vern Higgins was lying, and he ended up in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I mean, you think it's possible to invent a machine? Gold detector, lie detector. detector. Joseph, I got, I got a bunch of spare parts. Oh, you think we got enough there to make a machine? It'll make us famous. It'll make us more oh. famous than that. What, what's his name? Fulton. 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 Ful